Hello guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Rakshit and in this video we're just gonna talk about a few quick tips before you move to the UK and to help you move. And before we start, I just want to tell you, you have to mentally prepare yourself to move into a completely different environment, a completely different lifestyle. So well, the first thing to prepare is your documents and making sure every, you have everything on hand. That will include your passport, your visas, um, your passenger locator form if it's still required. Um, then make sure that you've got a forex card or some cash on hand. A forex card would be really useful, especially if you have to quarantine as you would end up ordering things online you need a card for that. So it makes life easier. Secondly, make sure you have your transportation arranged to get to your accommodation. So from the airport, train station, wherever you're going, make sure you've booked something. It can so happen and it has happened to a lot of friends that I've known is that what happens is that they just don't get an Uber and they're not very prepared for all these unknown circumstances that happen. So if you are running at Heathrow, you can take the National Express train to Nottingham if you're living here or whichever city you're going to. There's an option of taking the train as well. From, the he from Heathrow, you'll probably end up going to St. Pancras station and from there you'll change and go to whichever you have to change to go to whichever city you're going to for your studies. So that's just good to research and know well in advance. Well, you need to know your accommodations move-in requirements. Some of them ask you to fill in an online form online or check in online beforehand. So just make sure you have that sorted, look into that and also look at the insurance that they provide and what insurance you've got just so that all your personal belongings are covered. Well, don't forget if you are self-isolating, make sure you have your groceries and um, your duvets, your home stuff that you need all ordered or covered. As soon as you come to the UK, you'll probably end up not having anything with you and you'll have to, if you have to quarantine, you can't really go out. So it's always better to order everything. What I did when I moved to the UK was just ordered everything beforehand on Amazon and they were scheduled to deliver the day I arrived. So I had everything outside my door the very day I arrived. So I just picked up, sorted everything out. I didn't really have any shit there. Well, if you are an international student, you've got to collect your BRP. That's a British or I think biometric residence permit. That is the card that you got to collect from whichever assigned site that you have on your listed on your BRP letter. And don't forget your, the letter as well that they give you with your visa. You'll need that. So, well, you need to head down. Mine was the post office. So I head down to the post office, collect it. It's a very simple process. But make sure you plan that out and go after you finish your self-isolation if you're isolating. Well, as soon as you get your BRP, complete your enrollment with your university. Once that's done, Apply for a bank letter as soon as possible and open a bank account. If you ever want to work in the UK, a bank account is essential and a UK phone number, which I'll talk about later. Well, once you get the bank letter, make sure you print the email as well. A lot of banks ask for the email which came with it and the bank letter along with a proof of your residence. That would probably just be the contract of your accommodation or a letter from the manager of your accommodation proving that you stay there. So take that to the bank, get that sorted. And once that is done, immediately apply for a national insurance number. You'll need this number to work in the UK. You can do without a national insurance, but you may be accidentally, well, taxed, and then you have to make a claim for that tax, which is a really long process, basically. So make your life easy. And the next thing to do is to get a UK phone number. You need a UK phone number for working in the UK, calling your parents, doing all this sort of stuff. So if you don't have a UK number already, get that sorted. If you are studying at Nottingham Trent University, this is where I would suggest you to join UniTemps. So UniTemps is this platform where the university posts ad hoc jobs that keep coming up, like student ambassador roles, you, have, you can work in the admin. There are roles that start from about 10 pounds an hour and about 9.9-ish .9 an hour, all the way to 20, 25 pounds an hour, depending on the seniority and what level of studies that you're doing which is pretty interesting and it's far more than the minimum wage that you get outside. Even when the Unitem say it's national living wage, which is 8.91, you're actually paid holiday pay over that, which is another one point. It's a small percentage of that amount. So you end up earning a lot more money just of national living wage as compared to outside. So get that done as well. So, well, this is a quick tip, I would say. I personally use O2. Their service has been fantastic so far, but there are so many carriers and I'll leave it to you to compare and choose which one is the best. And for bank, well, there are so many bank accounts. I've heard from my friends that Barclays is probably one of the best, 
but I personally use Lloyd's as it was just easier to create an account with them. I just walked in with the letters and it just got sorted really quick. So that is great. Well, thanks for watching this video and well, moving can be an intimidating experience, especially if it's your first time living alone in a completely new country. Yeah, but with adequate preparation, you'll find the transition very smooth. Maybe the first few weeks you might kind of have this feeling where you get homesick and miss your parents a lot. It, it's just a phase. It gets better after that. And good luck guys. What well, you've done it. You've, you're coming to study in a university in the UK. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.